Hello and welcome to the Film Story Recap Channel. Today's film is the sequel to Train to Busan Train to Busan 2. The story takes place four years after Busan. Now Busan has fallen too. The whole of Korea is in a state of total anarchy and chaos due to the zombie virus. Our protagonist, John Suk, is a soldier. On this day, he is driving his sister's family to the last departing cruise ship. On the way, a woman with a child in her arms stopped the car and wanted John Suk to take them, but John Suk turned her down mercilessly. They arrived at the pier. John Suk boarded the cruise ship and was placed in the cabin. The cruise ship was supposed to go to Japan for refuge. A soldier came in and said to John Suk, the cruise ship suddenly turned to Hong Kong. John Suk went out to the captain and asked him why. The captain reprimanded him and told him to do as he was told. Inside the cabin, a man is not quite normal because a normal person can't do such a twisted position. It was an infected person who got mixed up in the cabin. When John Suk returned to the cabin, there was blood everywhere. He came to his sister's place after taking care of the zombies. People here have been bitten by zombies. John Suk's little nephew was also bitten. His mother hugged him anxiously. She was so scared that she couldn't speak. At this point, the person bitten will immediately become a zombie. John Suk rushed to pull his sister to escape, but his sister did not want to give up her son. At that moment, the bitten man on the ground turned into a zombie, started attacking John Suk. John Suk finished shooting the bullets of his pistol and escaped, and closed the cabin door. At that moment, his brother-in-law, Jamin, also returned. The two of them watched in pain as a large group of zombies jumped on John Suk's sister. The camera turns. It is four years later. John Suk and Jimin fled to Hong Kong on a cruise ship, but their life here is not so good. Due to the guilt of his sister's death, he has been living in pain. On the one hand, Jimin complained that John Suk did not do his best to save his sister. On the other hand, he was disliked by the locals. One day, a gangster approached John Suk. They want John Suk to go back to Korea and get the money from the truck. Now Korea is a zombie paradise. The zombies are not interested in money. This gang member has found a way to make money. Had his men go to Korea and collect a truckload of dollars. The whole 20 million. When they returned, they were surrounded by zombies. They were all killed. John Suk will share half of the carload of dollars if he can get it back. John Suk readily agreed. Jamin, Hui Siu and Min Hu went along with him. Soon John Suk and his group boarded the boat. The gangsters drove the boat to the offshore. They gave them weapons and satellite phones. Then they rowed ashore in a rubber boat. The ship will be docked here waiting for them. The place is silent after disembarkation. There are crumbling buildings everywhere. Not even a ghost in sight. Min Hu then opened the door of a car. The keys were in the car. After starting the car, they drove to look for the truck. It was Hui Siu who was driving the car. She was driving a cab in the area before the outbreak of the zombie virus. Suddenly they spotted a truck. John Suk got out of the car to check it out. The license plate was not the one they were looking for. At that moment, there was a strange noise in a corner. John Suk, who was not afraid to die, went up to check it out. He looked through the night vision scope of his rifle. He was scared to death. The zombies were looking at him hungrily. The group moved on to find the truck. Finally, they found it under an overpass. Someone in the shadows is watching them through binoculars. Jamin opened the truck, the bag full of dollars inside. When they got to the driver's side to drive away, a dead driver was found sitting inside the cab. Jamin went up and tried to throw him out of the car. At that moment, the dead driver suddenly opened his eyes. He opened his mouth to bite Jamin. During the fight, he accidentally honked the truck's horn. John Suk finally shot the driver and killed him. At this time, a large number of zombies heard the truck horn sounded and rushed here. These zombies become blind at night, but their sense of hearing is particularly sharp. John Suk took his rifle and started shooting, but there were too many zombies. John Suk climbed into the truck and got rid of the zombies for a while. The two vehicles drove on the road. Hui Siu started to dream of getting rich. Not far from the car got off a person, fired a flare at them. It was blinding in the darkness. The zombies saw the fire and rushed over. They rushed to escape. The army of zombies already blocked the road. Hui Siu hit some walkers and lost control of the car. The truck behind them couldn't brake. It crashed into them. John Suk in the truck was thrown outside by inertia. Hui Siu was also killed. The other three were also injured. The zombies kept coming. Jamin hid inside the truck in a hurry. John Suk started to run away. On the way, he met a girl named June. After getting into the car, she got rid of the zombies easily. There was a little girl on the passenger side. June drifted all the way. 
hitting the zombies as a roadblock. Zhang Suk couldn't stand the tossing and turning and passed out. The car drove under an overpass. Here a large wave of zombies blocked the road. At that moment, the girl took out a remote control car with light and music. Control the remote control car towards the zombies drive over. The zombies were attracted by the sound. Immediately pounced on the remote control car. The little girl drifted the car and turned around, leading a large group of zombies to run this way. After the zombies were distracted. At this time, the car started. It crashed into a few scattered zombies and rushed out. Jamin sighed. The zombies are still circling around the truck. No intention to leave. At that moment an exaggerated advertising car drove by. It distracted the group of zombies. Several armored vehicles parked next to it drove out. A group of people got out of the car. They didn't look like good guys. Minho got out of the cab of the truck and asked them for help. But he was already infected. The leader of the group came up to him. They killed him directly. Then they got into the truck and left. Jamin. Inside the truck. Didn't know what was going on outside. He was also taken away. Jong Suk woke up. An old man appeared in front of him. This is Jun's grandfather. At that moment, a woman approached. Jong Suk recognized her right away. Her name is Min Jing. It was the woman who met them on the road and asked for help. He survived the apocalyptic environment with his daughter. They took Jong Suk in. The old man had a radio. He had been sending messages to the outside world for help. Jamin was taken to a camp by the group. The group was called Unit 631. They were originally a regular unit. But after the outbreak of the zombie virus, this place has become an isolated island. They were left behind. So they became zombie hunters. They built defenses, grabbing resources from the zombie pile to survive. These people have done nothing but evil. They are worse than the zombies. This is where the Minjing family escaped from. After finding Jamin in the carriage, they ripped his clothes off. They spray-painted his body with numbers. Jamin was so scared that his legs went limp. Then he was put in a container. There were many naked people in the container. They squatted on the ground in silence. Not a sound. Shortly after, the door of the container opened. All the people inside went out. Jamin was also thrown out. It was like a coliseum in front of them. Crowds of people were watching and cheering and betting from above. That's when the countdown began. And the passage door opens. A bunch of zombies appeared. Frantically rushing towards them, they were playing a game of zombies chasing the living. Many people died in the mouths of the zombies. Time is up. And music is playing. A man in a glowing suit appears and draws back the walkers. Jamin survived in a daze. Back in the container, the guards threw them a few packs of instant noodles. They scrambled and ate them. The leader of the territory is the man in front of him, Captain Sue. He was tired of this life and was about to commit suicide. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. One of his men brought him a bottle of foreign wine. Captain Sue looked at the wine and didn't want to die. From the mouth of his man, he learned about the truck. He went to the truck and found the satellite phone. While he was fiddling with it, the phone rang. The call was from the man on the ship. When the people on the ship heard that it wasn't Jong Suk, they said that whoever it was, they could leave the place if they delivered the money and get the same reward. When Captain Su heard that he could get out of here, he agreed to do so. Jong Suk's side thought Jamin had been killed. They decided to grab the truck after dark and drive it to the port to board the ship. Jong Suk fell asleep and it was dusk when he woke up. Then they packed up their things, grab a weapon and drive off. They were going to sneak into the camp and steal the truck. Tell Jun to wait for them in the car. They went through a secret passage to the main camp of Unit 631. They escaped from here in the first place. After taking care of one of the guards, they saw the truck. Captain Su came to the Coliseum and spoke to the crowd with a loudspeaker. We have enough supplies now. Everyone can have fun tonight. He wanted to use this method to lure people here. Then he tried to escape quietly on his own in his truck. Sergeant Kim had already noticed that something was wrong. When Captain Su returned to the room, Sergeant Kim was already waiting for him. However, he didn't find anything wrong. Captain Su entered the room and used the speaker to cover the satellite phone on the table. At this time, his man did not know that Sergeant Kim was in the room. He pushed the door and came in. While Sergeant Kim was questioning his man, Captain Su quietly took out his pistol behind his back. Sergeant Kim thought they liked each other. He left the room in good taste. Jong Suk and Min Jing had arrived at the truck. 
when they were about to drive away. Captain Su's men arrived here as well. Min Jing hid in the cab and put a gun to his head. Then two guards saw him. They asked him why he didn't go to the show. He found a random excuse to pass it off. Then the guards told him, the man caught in the truck was very brave in the Colosseum. When Zhang Suk heard this, he realized that Jimin was still alive. So he rushed to save Jimin. After Zhang Suk left, Captain Su is coming. He seems to be an old acquaintance with Min Jing, but he suddenly pulled out a pistol and shot at Min Jing. Min Jing drove the truck in reverse, knocking him to the ground. A satellite phone was recovered from his body. Jimin continues his close encounter with the zombies in the Colosseum. A zombie screams and lunges at Jimin. At this point, the zombie was killed. John Sook arrives. He took out all the zombies here. John Sook then threw a smoke bomb. He got Jimin out of there. On their way to escape, they encountered soldiers who stopped them. Soldiers fire wildly at John Sook. John Sook rushed to the side and hid. At that moment, a zombie jumped at John Sook. Jimin picked up the rifle on the ground. He fired wildly at the approaching soldier. Then he threw the gun at John Sook. John Sook took the gun and finished the zombie. At that moment, Sergeant Kim, who was hiding, shot at Jimin. Jimin was killed in this way. While John Sook was fighting with other soldiers, Sergeant Kim quietly turns the gun on him again. As he was about to shoot, Min Jing rushed in with truck. John Sook escaped in a truck. At that moment, Captain Su woke up outside. He saw the truck drive away and was helpless. Sergeant Kim came out with his men. John Sook's truck was stopped by a group of zombies on the road. A large number of zombies surrounded the front of the truck. They were about to become the food of the zombies. At that moment Jun drove car and pulled up not far away. The blinding light attracts all the zombies. Min Jing also drove his truck through the zombies at this time and rushed past. The old man in the truck lit fireworks to attract the zombies. The two cars headed for the port. At that moment, Sergeant Kim's convoy caught up with them. They fired flares into the sky, attracting the attention of the zombies. John Sook was surrounded. The car drove under the overpass. John Sook fired at the glass. The zombies broke through the glass. Sergeant Kim's car failed to break, crashed directly into the pile of zombies. The car could not be driven backward. Sergeant Kim was overwhelmed by zombies. After John Sook got rid of Sergeant Kim, took out the satellite phone to contact the ship at the port. Just as they reached the ship, Captain Su drove his car and crashed into the June's car. He pulled June out of the car and held her hostage. At this time, the little girl manipulated the remote control car, crashed into Captain Su. Captain Su shot at the little girl. The old man rushed to protect the girl, but he was shot. Min Jing picked up the gun to fight back and was shot in the leg again. At this time, Captain Su ran to the truck. He drove the truck and ran away. In the truck, he envisioned his life in Hong Kong. He drove the car onto the boat. The gangsters met him. Captain Su's excited greeting, the gangsters, however, just killed him. In fact, no matter who was in the truck, the gangsters planned to kill them all. Captain Su put the truck into neutral with his last breath. The truck slipped out of the cabin and got stuck in the door panel. At that moment, a large number of zombies came towards the ship. On the other hand, the injured old man is dying. At that moment, the sound of a helicopter came from the air. The little girl rushed to launch fireworks into the sky. She managed to attract the helicopter's attention. John Sook ran towards the helicopter with the little girl in his arms. The zombies were attracted by the fireworks and came from all directions, but there were too many zombies. Min Jing climbed into a truck and honked the car horn as hard as he could. The zombies heard the sound and were attracted to. John Sook finally arrived near the helicopter with the two children. The girl begged the rescue team to save her mother, but the rescuers did nothing. Min Jing, who was inside the truck, decided to commit suicide because he didn't want to drag them down. At that moment, Zhang Sook rushed forward with his gun. When she heard the gunshot, her hope for survival was raised. She fired wildly at the zombies. Zhang Sook came to meet her, throwing smoke bombs. They eventually burst out of the smoke. They escaped in a helicopter. End of story. Korean films are good at analyzing human nature, and this film is no exception. The whole film interweaves the good and evil of several types of people, presenting different sides of humanity. There is the murderous and violent Sergeant Kim, the sinister and despicable Captain Su, the heroic mother who protects her daughter, and the less distinctive male protagonist. The male protagonist comes to the zombie island just for a few million, which is incongruous with his righteous persona. Personal opinion only. Well, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.